Hey pack leaders, this is Ham of Friends and protecting families by protecting pack. Today we're going to give us a uh, Leverage Trapper bot update. Uh, the last update we pushed uh, did pretty well. Uh, we had a little dump this morning and um, it, it caught it and it took it and it, it profited. Okay. Uh, so let me kind of sh show you uh, the, I guess, the profitability. This is kind of where it's standing right now. Uh, we're waiting for it to do. I went along right now, so we're gonna see what's up here, okay? Uh, what it does is it's gonna wait on the high and the low this time. So that's kind of been pretty helpful on waiting the highs and lows in the last like two to three hours depending on the customized uh, time frame that we set, okay? So we don't actually trail down anymore. We trail based on each set. So as it swings up and down, up and down, once it makes a new higher high, then we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and just wait at that, that lower low right there. Okay, or that, 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 what was that, the higher, yeah, the higher low, whatever, <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. So anyways, uh, let me just kind of show you the um, results so far here. I'm just uh, testing the small number. So, been pretty good, lots of greens. Maybe a little tiny, you know, stop loss there. And there you go, maybe this is another stop loss there. And that's a really small one. So overall, it's been, a lot more greens lately, you know, just kind of, and all we're doing is just limit orders, just open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Sometimes it gets out of position and you can't close it, so it'll get back in and close out the limit order and just kind of go back and forth, okay. And so on and so on. So what, once, I think this is when a dump happened, uh, 19 today, yeah, around like one in the morning, I guess. It, it had to take the stop to get out, pick that up, and then just kind of, as it hit the trap, it just kind of just constantly took profit all the way down. From 9,000 all the way down to 8,400, whatever. So it kind of got in around 9,040. And then we just kind of sold it all along the way down on that drop there. So it just kind of kept going, kept dropping, kept picking up, kept selling, selling, selling. So I think this is the last one right here. All right, and then the rest was just flip flopping back and forth and taking profit, taking profit, taking profit, okay? So, so overall, I think we've kind of gotten it I wouldn't say gotten it down, but at least moving forward to a profitable um, bot. And there's some enhancements that I want to add here. Uh, let me kind of show you the trade history. Uh, you see these are all the fees paid. So these are all rebates that we've taken, uh, 0.25 negative. So we, these are all rebates there. And of course, you see the 0.75 is when we have to take the stop right there. And But majority of times, it's all rebates. All right, so you kind of just racking up fees just for trading, all right? And then we have one right here, and so on. Okay, so that's been helping quite a bit uh, on um, saving some money on because we trade so so many times that you know those rebates help. Okay, all right. So let me go ahead and switch over here to kind of talk about uh, what other enhancements I want to do. Um, we're gonna be implementing the an auto take profit because between a spread of um, Zero fifty dollars. We're gonna use a five minute acceleration, so it's constantly kind of monitored a lot quicker and switching a lot quicker because it's just the the volatility is so low that we can switch it back and forth and take profit um, along the way on on lower volume. So and then once it hits uh, above fifty to hundred, then we're gonna switch it to a ten minute acceleration. If it gets past hundred, it's pumping. We don't want to keep switching back because we get caught in a pump or dump. Then we'll turn that off, and and then you know how we were trailing on a min max in a stop loss we're going to trail on a min max on a stop profit so we can let that right if it's going to ride we'll let it ride until it just rides up and if it's been like two to three hours of no movement just kind of hovering straight then it'll, it'll kind of go back into the um, 10 minute or five minute acceleration take profit and kind of just uh, work its way down since we're in profit we take profit anytime it's just a matter of when it's gonna you know steady out okay all right, so that's the one one big thing that we're going to probably implement tonight, and I think that will enhance it quite a bit. Uh, also, uh, when it does take profit, uh, we put two limit orders there, but sometimes it doesn't take, and it kind of goes back down, and then eventually it goes back up and punches its way up high, right? So if it doesn't take within, like, if it's a five-minute take profit, we'll give it five minutes to take the profit. If it doesn't, we'll cancel it. If it's a 10-minute take profit, we'll give it 10 minutes to take that profit. If it doesn't, then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and cancel it until it pops back up again, and it'll have another opportunity at a higher at a higher high okay if we're longing 
And I think and then we'll reverse the trap on take profit. I think and then we have a reverse of trap. Uh, I think it's actually work. I haven't actually seen a test uh, not work myself, so I'm gonna probably turn it back on test it to see. Um, it's, it, it, it might have gotten confused. I don't know with the reverse of take profit, so uh, I'm gonna have to kind of personally verify, make sure it is what it is, and then uh, if I need to implement a little um, uh, override to not have it, you know, take on a limit order and just take on a reversal um, market order, uh, I might do that. Okay. And double check of the threshold fee. Oh yes, and also we want to do a um, on the reversal take profit to make sure that we're past the threshold um, before we, we enable that. Okay, and I have another thing that says double check. Oh yeah, so I, th I think there's a double check threshold because uh, we have a threshold calculation, and I think I want to make sure I double check that to make sure that it's it's accounting for the current fee because now we're doing a lot of limit orders. And so then our threshold should be a lot less. And I think I might have manually um, uh, assumed that we're always going on a market order. So that should help with the threshold so we get in and out quicker or at least, you know, not, you know, a lower price if we really need to. Okay. All right. I think that's all I have for today. Um, looks like we're making some progress. If I would say this is a good time to um, jump in. I, I think it's pretty consistent now. Um, if you guys are still on the fence, this is the time to get in. Um, and go from there and test it out for yourself. Okay, it's only a dollar trial for seven days and uh, $19.99 a month afterwards. Okay, and I think you'll, you'll probably get that back <laughs> pretty quickly. So, all right, thanks.